see a couple friendly deer here feeding on some roses just ahead. Look at these deers. They came for lunch, buddy. Cemetery deers. Oh, they're taking off. They see me coming. It's okay, fellas. You can finish your roses. Wow. Look at those deers. Just feasting on these roses. Now they're heading back in here. Oh, come back. Finish your lunch. Finish your lunch. See the deer is just down in there. Fellas, oh, there's babies too. The babies trouncing off there. Come back. Okay, here today at Forest Lawn Cemetery, right at the bottom of the mountains here. Look at that. God gave us liberty. People who forsake. God lose their liberty. I could climb right to the top of the mountain if I wanted to. Of course, where I need to go is to the Columbarium of Sacred Trust. Straight down that way. Let's we'll start heading there now. So many different sections to Forest Lawn surrounding us. It can be very tough to find exactly what you're looking for. That gorgeous white church over there. I have to go way down there. Maybe we get some good shots while we're here. Oh, this eagle thing here. Super cool. This is actually the first church you see as you enter the cemetery. Clock tower and the bell up there. Very pretty. The mountains over there. Like the little bell up there. All right, Forest Lawn Cemetery. Here we are. Let's have a look. Now this place is huge. Okay. It looks out over all of LA. Love this gorgeous church here. Still heading down. Going to be doing most of the walk around here at Forest Lawn on. The Columbarium of Sacred Trust, but we got to show this statue. Gorgeous mountains behind it. This is a heck of a statue here. Look at that. I wish I had time. It would take two days to go around and look at every statue, cemetery marker. Thought I had to get this. Look at that eagle. Wow. It's magnificent. That is magnificent. There's a few churches. Oh, if you were wondering, this thing here is the Washington Memorial. Thomas Ball was a sculptor. Thing is crazy. I love this church over here. Look at that church. Hope the camera can make out mountains. Out of this church. Sometimes the churches let you know where you are in Forest Lawn Cemetery. Burials, flowers, all across these hills. North Church, Forest Lawn Memorial Park, 1723 AD, Christ Church. For mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. To find this church near the top of Forest Lawn Cemetery. Forest Lawn is huge. There's burial areas over here. I was just over by that church way up here at the bottom of the mountain. A long walk down. Again, I'm heading over here to the Columbarium of Sacred Trust. Quite a few people I'd like to pay respects to in there. 
quite a hike. But it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I've arrived here in my favorite part, Fort Salon Cemetery, the Columbarium of Sacred Trust. Now, there are many celebrities buried all around here. We're going to start with one of my favorites. That's the man on the Silver Mountain, Ronnie James Dio. Dio is known as the second singer of Black Sabbath, right after Ozzy. It's brilliant work on albums like Heaven and Hell and Mob Rules, which led him into his amazing solo career. You may remember songs like Rainbow in the Dark, from his album Holy Diver. Look at this, it's pretty cool. It means everything to me. I pay my respects to Ronnie James Dio. I had the privilege of meeting Ronnie. I will include a picture uh, right after this of me and Ronnie James Dio. In fact, I'll show you that picture right now. Okay, here's a picture here off of my laptop. Couldn't find the hard copy, but there's me with Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell, version 2, Geezer Butler, the left, Vinnie Apice, me and Ronnie James Dio in the middle, and Tony Iommi to the far right. Got to hang out with all of them there back in 2008 on the Metal Masters Tour. That picture was taken in Toronto. And then Dio passed uh, within about a year, year and a half after. Rest in peace, Ronnie. Man on the Silver Mountain. Yeah, we even compared height that day. And then two years later, uh, he passed away due to stomach cancer. Wendy has set this up real well. There's usually roses on either side. They're not here. But Ronnie James Dio, July 10th, 1942 to May 16th, 2010. Check out these. The king of the heavy metal devil horns. Not Gene Simmons, Ronnie. His grandmother used to do the maloik, is what she called it. Ward off the bad spirits. Became his thing. Rest in peace, Ronnie. I miss you every day, man. Still listen to his music. Amazing. And even though so many people know him, you know, from heaven and hell and everything else. One of the most amazing vocalists ever in metal. Rest in peace, Ronnie James Dio. Yeah, if you're looking for Dio, it's not far from Lemmy. All very fitting. The man on the silver mountain was a big rainbow fan. Very big Rainbow fan, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Dio was also an elf before that. Everything he ever did was quite amazing. Man on the Silver Mountain. Brings me around, of course, I would never ever come to this cemetery. But I wasn't gonna pay tribute to the man. The man, Mr. Lemmy Kilmister of Motorhead, right here. Lemmy Kilmister, right here, Forest Lawn Cemetery. Oh, it's hard to turn away from that. To say this man was one of my idols, biggest influencers, is a humongous understatement. Good old Lemmy. The okay sign to live your life on your terms. His lyrics, albums, everything will resonate with me forever and keep me going in life. Born to lose, live to win. It's Born to Lose, Lived to Win, of course, here on his memorial it states, Born to Lose, Lived to Win, which he did. He won the hearts of 
punk rockers, meddlers, all hard rockers worldwide. We all have a significant bond, and that is that, without a doubt, we're all Motorhead fans. Rest in peace, Mr. Lemmy. There are plenty of celebrities buried around Forest Lawn as well. One I'm going to show you next is actually... Oh, look at this guy. Like, I'm probably in proximity to so many huge celebrities, but I have no idea exactly where they're buried. So, it's kind of hard to pick a direction. But this is what the layout is like. Engineer. Sandra D. From Greece. Of course, Olivia Newton-John did just pass away. Somewhere in this cemetery is Carrie Fisher, John Ritter, Or whether thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. There are so many burial sites, it's absolutely astounding. I wish I had the entire day to walk around find every celebrity I would love to pay my respects to. Too many. One, however, I would like to pay my respects to right now is the man responsible for the James Bond franchise, Albert R. Broccoli. Wow, look at all these. There's a lot of people in Forest Lawn. Albert R. Broccoli. His monument's just over here. Check this out. Albert R. Broccoli. April 5th, 1909. June 27th, 96. Beloved husband and father and grandfather. And his wife, Dana Broccoli. January 3rd, 22 to February 29th, 2004. Beloved wife and mother and grandmother. Surprise it doesn't say right here. Responsible for the creation of the James Bond franchise. That's him. The one and only Albert R. Broccoli. So many interesting memorial setups here. Lee Schneider. Said you could come here all day long. So I figure I'll give you a quick tour. Now, we're gonna end this tour with a very special someone. Can you guess who it is? I'm just gonna say two words, okay? As we approach Ronnie's memorial one more time. Next thing we're going to look at, hello Ronnie, give you a hint, Star Wars. Okay, so I'm now standing in the Sanctuary of Treasured Love. Another area here at Forest Lawn. This part over here is blocked off. But just over here, right to the right, you're gonna find the grave and memorial of Carrie Fisher and her mother, Deborah Reynolds. Just over here. There she is. Princess Leia herself, Carrie Fisher, October 21st, 1956. 
be December 27th, 2016, only two days after Christmas, and just one day, one day after Carrie passed, her mother, Debbie Reynolds, also passed. Her mother, Debbie Reynolds, April 1st, 1932, to December 28th, 2016, one day after her daughter. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous monument here and set up for Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. We we'll put nice flowers here, I like this. That's very nice, Debbie and Carrie. Ooh, some nice purple roses. Now Carrie Fisher obviously was known for a lot more than just her work as Princess Leia. She was in so many movies. Blues Brothers. Always loved her role in Blues Brothers. Some people forget that she was in Blues Brothers. She had a very comedic role in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back with Jason Mewes. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Now when I watch Star Wars films, say I paid my respects in the proper manner. Absolutely gorgeous memorial here for Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace to both of them. That's about going to do it today. I would love to walk around all day long and look at all kinds of celebrities and other memorials. Some of them are so beautiful. Please like, please subscribe. Never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show or where we're gonna be. Felt really good to pay my respects to Carrie Fisher, Ronnie James Dio. Beautiful scenery here.